Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my drugstore foundation collection and I'm going to be showing you each and every one that I have. You guys seem to really like my high-end foundation collection video so I thought that I would do a drugstore version and I get so many questions about drugstore foundation so I just thought I would do this video and I hope you guys will like it and I'll just jump straight into this video. These are not in any particular order but I do want to mention my two absolute favourites that I can't live without and the first one I would say is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Longwear Illuminating Foundation. It has such a long name but I just call it the LA Girl Pro HD Foundation. And I'm in the shade tan, I do have a full review on this foundation so if you guys want to check it out. I will leave links to all of the reviews that I've done on these foundations um, but yeah I just absolutely love this one. I'm in the shade tan, super affordable. Um, it's what I'm wearing today actually and I just really really love it and the, the shade's absolutely perfect. The next one is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer and I, again I'm in the shade tan. I guess that's my, my skin colour. Um, and if you guys can see, I'm like almost run out of this stuff, like I've used this so so much. Both of these foundations give you very very good coverage, they don't give me ashiness, they really even out my skin tone. However the Milani one is definitely more, um, I don't know how to say it, but it does transfer a lot and I don't really mind that. It, it's probably because I don't even set my foundation with a, with powder but it, when I wear this like there's not much transfer but with this like it's on my hand so um, that's one of the main issues with it but it doesn't really bother me um, it has a really nice smell but this one has a very weird smell the LA Girl one um, so they have their own like downs and ups but I just love both of them and I can't choose between the two because I just love them in their own way so yeah definitely my two favourite drugstore foundations the next one is my trusty old uh, L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I'm in the shade Toffee Caramel, but I will try to get the actual code for this colour. I haven't seen this colour in forever, that's why I haven't been able to repurchase one. But as you can see, this is very, very old, the writing's gone, like, it's just super old. I do have to say though that it is a bit darker for me, it's more of my summer foundation. Um, it's not that perfect on my skin, like my skin definitely prefers these two rather than this one because it kind of does um, attach to my dry areas but that can be solved with a bit of like more moisturiser or a bit of oil um, but it's a really good foundation. The next foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I really really like this one. Um, I'm in the shade 315. Sometimes in the summertime I like to mix it with the 320 which I have upstairs. Oh. Just whacked my lip there. This one definitely gives me more of that dewy, hydrating finish rather than a matte finish for some reason. Um, but yeah, really like it. Love that they have a bigger colour range. I did have to get this on Amazon because I couldn't find this colour anywhere in stores. And also the 320 as well. And that's another little baby of my foundation collection. This one I haven't used in so, so long. I actually have to get around to using it, but it's the Revlon Colour Stay for normal to dry skin in toast. That's the foundation on the back of my hand. I would definitely say like it's the perfect colour. And I actually need to clarify something. In my review video for this foundation, I said that it had a glitter in it, it had a bit of glitter in it, but it, it actually didn't. I think I had glitter in my on my brush when I applied it. It actually doesn't have glitter. It's it's actually really nice. The Airbrush Foundation by Revlon does have a bit of a shimmer to it, which I don't really like. That's why I thought this one would maybe have some glitter, but it was just on my brush, because when I apply this, it doesn't have any glitter or anything to it. Um, but I do have to get around to using this. Um, I do really like it, but I just, I just always reach for these two now for some reason. So it's definitely a foundation I need to reach for more. Next one is the EX1 Invisware Foundation in 11. If you guys don't know yet, they did release new shades and my new shade is 11. They used to have like four colours before or five and I was F400, um, which was a bit too dark for me, but this is just absolutely perfect for my skin colour. They did send me some more colours of their new foundation, so I will do a swatch video for you guys. If you guys are still interested, if you want to see that video, let me know if you are still interested because I was supposed to do that ages ago. But if you guys want to kind of, if you want me to swatch it on my skin and show it to you guys, I'll be happy to do that. 
Um, it's a good foundation, I would say it's better for combo, normal to combination skin because sometimes when I'm really dry this does kind of attach to my drier areas but again it can't be sold without a bit of oil or something like that. The coverage is amazing, the price is amazing, um, yeah it's just a really really good drugstore foundation especially with the coverage you get and it looks still looks like skin. Um, so yeah, definitely would recommend this. So the next foundation is by New Look. I recently did a review on this and it's the Flawless Foundation and Contour Stick. The only downside to this is that they only have three colours and the darkest one seemed to be my colour. I'm in the shade Natural Tan. If you're a fairer skin tone, you could probably use this to contour with. I was super surprised about this foundation. Like I have to say that I was really excited to try it and I was so surprised with the results and it's only $4.99. Um, but I definitely recommend watching my review on it. Then the final one is one that I haven't even tried yet. It's the Kiko Universal Fit Hydrating Foundation. I'm in the shade Warm Beige 90, which is actually the same colour that my friend gets, Zahara, and she's a bit paler than me, but I have to still get around to using this. I'll probably wear this to uni tomorrow and kind of wear it for a few days and then I'll film a review for you guys ASAP. Um, I'm so excited to try this, but I always reach out for my other foundations and completely forget about this one. So definitely need to try this as soon as possible and get a review up for you guys because this was only like £7 or something. So yeah. So that is all my drugstore foundations. I don't have that many. I feel like I have more high-end foundations than drugstore because a lot of drugstore brands in the UK, as you guys know, have never have my colour. They always have fairer skin colours, so I can never actually go and buy them. So... Um, that's why I don't have as many drugstore foundations. Let me know what are your favourite drugstore foundations to use and if there are colours available for my skin colours so I can go try them out. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name's Anushka and welcome to the family. Hit the thumbs up button if you did like this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.